At the present time, SCP-1155 cannot be permanently contained by any known means. Approximately every two to four months, SCP-1155 has been observed to spontaneously relocate itself to other urban environments, moving as little as 15 meters from its current position, up to a maximum observed distance of 800 kilometers. These relocation events can also be triggered by damage to the surface that SCP-1155 adheres to, interruption of an attack, any attempt to reduce the size of SCP-1155 confinement space to prevent visual contact. Therefore, current containment efforts are centered around swiftly ascertaining SCP-1155 new location and isolating it from public view. When such a relocation event occurs, Mobile Task Force P1 should be immediately deployed alongside local assets to locate the new site as quickly as possible, re-implement containment procedures and detain any witnesses. Survivors of attacks should be detained and injured witnesses may be administered Class A amnesiacs and then released. SCP-1155 manifests as a work of street art or graffiti, depicting the form of a humanoid creature. See only four limbs, claw like hands, and the head and feathers of an owl. The depicted pose is variable but tends towards a predatory stance with eyes that appear to track the viewer. Anyone viewing this image directly will experience a compulsion to investigate it further. Victims describe a nervous fascination and a desire to move closer. This can be resisted with effort, especially if the subject is aware of SCP-1155 anomalous properties. If a subject approaches to within two meters and is not in the line of sight of another person, he will be subjected to a violent attack, suffering severe lacerations, dismemberment of extremities, whole or partial removal of soul body parts and penetrating head trauma consistent with those that will be inflicted by a large beak and or talons. The attack generally takes about 6 seconds to conclude, upon which both SCP-1155 and the victim will vanish, and SCP-1155 will reappear elsewhere in the usual manner of a relocation event within 7 days. Attacks can be halted before this event by re-establishing line of sight to the victim, but this is not recommended. Attempts to track where the victims are taken by equipped test subjects with GPS locators have failed, based on tested interruptions performed at predefined intervals and special recording devices, the attack follows a defined pattern. The victim will first be restrained and the eyes and tongue will be removed, rapidly followed by an amputation of the hands and feet. The victim will then be disemboweled and the intestines and stomach removed. Death usually follows due to shock or rapid exsanguination, but only if the attack is interrupted by visual contact. The fate of victims who disappear along with SCP-1155 at the conclusion of the attack is unknown. Elements of Mobile Task Force P1 located SCP-1155 in an abandoned subway station after most recent relocation event. Team leader <laughs> made the decision to obscure SCP-1155 with a vending machine until more containment resources arrived on the basis that there were not enough task force members on site to guarantee a secure perimeter and local transients were known to use the area for shelter. SCP-1155 immediately displays to a nearby children's playground, causing <laughs> casualties before it could be again located. Due to high public nature of this location, decision was made at command level to again provoke a displacement event resulting in the current containment location. 
containing and the current location was expensive, requiring that an entire shopping center be acquired by the foundation and then subsequently closed. But the revised containment procedures have resulted in the longest time since a relocation event to date. In a personal note, the last few containment locations may point to a disturbing trend. Previously, SCP-1155 seemed to have a pattern of appearing in low traffic urban areas, often abandoned buildings or quiet underpasses. At risk of anthropomorphism, it appears to have become emboldened and will now readily appear in public spaces, which makes containment difficult over the objections of the containment team. Leave the damn thing uncovered. Better we lose a few urban explorers of nosy kids every couple of years rather than risk having it abduct more people before we can locate it each time.